What brings you back? Why do you keep continuing to teach at Mount Carmel? Um, because I can't get a better job. You know, I mean, I have all kinds of these little insufficiencies that keep me from really getting a better job. So I'm kind of stuck here ultimately. We know that there are quiet heroes every day doing the good work. You are all testament to that. And this gentleman here has been a, 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 a fixture of this place, so I've been told. Being a Mount Carmel faculty member is much like being a member of an asylum, only goofier. The only reason why we're here today is to celebrate Coach in the ways in which he has challenged young men. <laughs> Um, well, I believe, uh, quite honestly, in uh, treating the children as poorly as possible and letting them understand that they are strictly here to make me look good. People ask, how? How did he get it? And why? My goal with every class I have ever taught is to teach kids to think critically. Probably won't use that one. Oh, no. It's not going to generate much donations. Make sure that ends up on the yes, class floor. Absolutely. The personal sacrifices I've made is I, I have, you know, declined a very uh, lucrative male modeling career in order to stay here employed at Mount Carmel High School. And uh, that uh, financial sacrifice has been considerable, but uh, the whole modeling industry was a bit beyond what I really care for at this time. And, not here because he's necessarily the smartest of all the air instruments. It's true. What are you laughing at? The coaching every single day demands the best from you. He challenges you and he makes it fun as well. Uh, Coachy is one of the best teachers, one of the best coaches, and one of the best uh, you know people I've ever gone through here. But in the last few years, I've definitely gotten to be able to say that he's one of the most important things. He's, he's been my friend. His relationship makes it relevant. The rigor is there. So when you go to college, you are definitely prepared. Coachy is here because he's the biggest part in Aaron's group. Because he really cares about people. Uh, you know, there are some people that when they walk in the room, you don't even know they're there because their personality is almost non-existent. And then there's other people when they walk in the room, they own that room, and that's Kurt. When he walks into a room, the literally the energy of the room changes. It's like there's a spark. He brings his intelligence, he brings his sense of humor, and his love of not only what he does, but of the love of the kids. And that comes in the room with him, and you can literally see them change when he walks in the room. My mom taught me years ago that if you're going to be in teaching, it better be a, a vocation as much as an avocation, hobby as much as profession. And that's what I feel it is here. Uh, it's, I definitely consider myself a professional, but this job is fun. Moving around the classroom, demonstrating stuff, integrating technology, all the things that make the you know teaching fun. It means have a passion, and, and that's what I have always tried to emphasize in the classroom. And uh, I'm just grateful that uh, I was fortunate enough to get recognized for it, and I'm appreciative of that. I'm very appreciative of the Golden Apple for what they do for recognizing excellence in our education. I'd like to just say thank you. Uh, Starting first and foremost with my family, especially my beloved wife. I'm also grateful to the students uh, because, of course, uh, we have great students here. Thank you very much for the Golden Apple, and thank you to everyone.